The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. In a shocking news story, one Colorado family is warning parents about the dangers of something called magnetic buckyballs after their two-year-old swallowed 28 at one time and then was rushed to the hospital. So the child's father apparently stepped away, went to the bathroom. He came back and he saw a few in her hands. He wasn't sure what was going on. Had she swallowed any? Well, smartly, they went, got x-rays, and they showed these magnets were linked together to form this circle in her bowel. And then as they circled together, started to lead to a hole slash perforation in her bowels. This could have ended up being a massive tragedy requiring big surgery, potentially very sick. And uh, I'll tell you what's crazy about this is they're so small. Yeah. yeah. These, these are those little really strong magnets that you can get for desk sculptures and you play with them. And the crazy thing is they come in packs of 250. So it's actually kind of hard as a parent How would you know? Yeah. To know if your little kid has decided to ingest these. And But the problem with these is there's been case after case after case of this. And these are neodymium, which is a really rare earth metal that has an incredibly strong magnet. So when you swallow it, those magnets are actually attracted together in your body and that's what forms it's like that makes it so dangerous and you causes know, and these it's so tough there's an age of kids where this is appropriate a fun thing to play with but if you have younger siblings yep. you you just can't take the chance of having those around you see things like this in the emergency room in my office all the time and while these are dangerous the biggest thing that scares me is when kids swallow batteries you know those little watch batteries? Be, yeah, because those batteries, there, there's some experiments done on YouTube where they put the battery into a hot dog and it disintegrates the hot dog. So imagine what it does to the insides of a child. So young kids that are susceptible to putting things in their mouths, be very careful, be aware of their well, and, and unfortunately, whether it's a little button battery, these magnets, you know, once kids swallow these things, they may not initially show any symptoms. Yeah. The issue with the magnets is that they, look, they're attracted to one another outside your body. Imagine what they do in your body. And I think that's the, the telltale here is, if as a parent, you're not suspecting of it, you may not know until it's too late. Yeah. And, and that's why it's so important to keep track of these things. And if you ever see your kid playing with something and you're not sure if they swallowed it, hey, just go get it checked out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Go get it the checked longer, out. The longer they're actually in those intestines and in that GI tract, the more havoc they can wreak. It's a tough time yes. for parents. I went through it with my kids with the little toys that they want. If they don't put it in their mouth or put it in their nose or their ears, I mean, you, you have to be so on top of it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's is that why you went into ENT? <laughs> no, because you're like, you know what? Stuff. If my kid swallows I'm something, or put it in their nose or ear, I'm going to know how to treat it. It helped. <laughs> but but I, think, I think to your point, if, if you're at all worried that your child has ingested something exactly. like this, the sooner you can take him to the ER, the better. Just get it checked. Don't, don't wait and have something catastrophic happen.